while the open world in L.A. Noir may seem a little barren, that doesn't stop it from being an excellent game. Full of excellent writing and dialogue suited to the period, the game tells the story of Cole Phelps, a cop in the Los Angeles Police Department, climbing the ranks and solving crimes. It has wonderful storytelling, and most people tend to overlook things that it does better than any other games out there, just because the open world is kinda empty. Stay down! Go! I'll hold you. Many people view Immortals Phoenix Rising as a cheap knockoff of other games on this list, and, to be fair, they're mostly correct, but the end result is still pretty darn great. Sure maybe it doesn't handle puzzles and environments as well as other open world games on the Switch, but the combat in Immortals Phoenix Rising is incredibly satisfying. The plot weaves elements of Greek mythology into a fantasy world, which doesn't earn many points for originality, but it does manage to be interesting and memorable. This open-world action RPG games was developed and published by Bethesda and was released on multiple platforms way back in 2011, with the Nintendo Switch port debuting in November 2017. The events of the game take place in Skyrim, one of the northern provinces of Tamriel and the homeland of the Nords. The player adopts the role of Dragonborn and is tasked with stopping the plans of an ancient dragon called Alduin. Skyrim also provides a plethora of side activities for the player to perform such as joining one of many Skyrim factions, participating in a civil war, exploring ancient dungeons that are scattered across the land, and a whole lot more. Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection was released for Nintendo Switch back in December 2019, and just like the name implies, it is a collection of games from the popular Assassin's Creed franchise. The collection itself features two games, Assassin's Creed for Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue, as well as all single-player downloadable content for each of them. Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection allows the player to take up the role of Edward Kenway and explore a huge open world while sailing the seas with your pirate crew or fill in the boots of Shea Patrick Cormac and play on the Templar's side and hunt down assassins along the way. Everyone loves a good comeback story and it's hard to think of a bigger comeback story in gaming than No Man's Sky. What was once considered a steaming pile of disappointment at launch has turned into a fascinating game after a long series of patches and content additions that brought it in line with what the developers originally promised. With a surprisingly beautiful port and an endless number of planets to explore and aliens to encounter, No Man's Sky has earned its spot among the best open world games on the Switch. Monster Hunter Rise has already appeared on a few of our lists and for a good reason as it is one of the best open world games out there. 
The Switch port of the game was released in March 2021, along with an expansion pack Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. The main gameplay loop of Monster Hunter Rise revolves around the player hunting various monsters, collecting various materials from them and using them to craft new weapons and armor in order to hunt bigger and stronger monsters. Dying Light is an open-world zombie survival game that made the transition to Switch surprisingly well. It's a mix of parkour, survival, and exploration. Most open-world games have day-night cycles, but few of them draw such an intense line between the light and dark as this one does. There's a beauty in some of the locations in the daytime, but at night you really have to focus on surviving. If you stop and smell the roses, you probably won't live to see the morning. This Switch version is loaded to the gills with content, giving you plenty to see and do in this grim world. <sighs> While every game in the Xenoblade Chronicles series has had its merits, the third installment is by far the best of the lot. You will spend over 100 hours exploring a deeply crafted world where two nations, Kevs and Agnes, are stuck in perpetual war, coming to grips with the sprawling conspiracy at the heart of this story. The plot is surprisingly dark considering how bright and colorful the artwork is, and the combat is genuinely fun even when you're spending hours grinding on the world map. It's no secret that The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is one of the best open-world games of all time, but it always seemed too graphically intensive for the Nintendo Switch. But somehow CD Projekt Red managed to bring their epic experience to the handheld console without sacrificing too much. While this version does suffer slightly from performance issues and a graphical downgrade, the game is still a lot of fun to play. Geralt remains one of the best protagonists in video game history, and his quest to rescue Ciri is engaging from start to finish. Plus, there's an entire living and breathing world to immerse yourself in. From the almost haunting beauty of post-fall Hyrule to the story of rescuing Princess Zelda from the castle, every story beat feels perfect and well thought out. More importantly, the combat mechanics and interacting systems allow you to approach the world in your own personal way, resulting in all kinds of emergent gameplay that feels so real. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild isn't just the best open-world game on the Switch, it's easily one of the best open-world games ever made. The fact that it simultaneously embraces yet rejects its roots in the series makes it familiar yet fresh and exciting.
Super Mario Odyssey is a platform game and a Nintendo Switch exclusive that was developed and published by Nintendo and released back in October 2017. The game features open-world 3D platform gameplay, similar to Super Mario 64 and is arguably the best Mario game in the entirety of the Super Mario franchise. Just like in every other Super Mario game, the player takes control of Mario himself as he explores multiple kingdoms in an effort to once again rescue Princess Peach from Bowser's clutches with the help of his new ally Cappy. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the latest installment of the Zelda franchise and sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Fans of the franchise already have plenty of expectations for this one, which is based off of an overabundance of ideas left over from the previous game's DLCs. While all the heart and action will be the same, now players will get to explore a series of floating islands above Hyrule. Dive among the clouds, scale cliff sides, and hop from island to island using different landing pads. <laughs> 